lot of portraits I do are based on people who have affected me in life. I like the ones that affect me in a not so good way. I don't know, instead of like me like going off on them or just like being upset, like there's no point of me just wasting like so much energy on like getting back at someone or something so I actually paint them. I never tell them or show them or anything like that, but I don't know. Once I paint them, I'm just like over it. I don't care like what happened in that situation because like something good happened, you know, something bad that occurred. I feel like I finally discovered myself as an artist and like what direction I want to take things. About last year, 2017, I feel like their work is created when something tragic has happened in their lives or something. Or some, something, I feel like it, it just, you just pour with like so much inspiration or something like, you just don't want to talk to anyone or do anything, you just want to be in the studio like all day. And like when you're in here, like nothing in life matters. Like, it's just you and this canvas and this piece and just like, um, sometimes like, I, I don't know, people ask me if I ever get lonely. I never think about anything of, like, like that when I'm in here. Most of the time when I paint, it's just like, I just don't think about anything. I, like, your, my brain kind of just goes on like autopilot mode, I guess. I'm like, I think I just mostly paint for like the little kid in you. You know, when you look at a child, their, their mind hasn't been corrupt by any weird aspects of life, you know. A young person's happiness is like, I feel is the purest, realest happiness there is. I feel like if things always go as planned and there's no fun in that, it's kind of like the unexpected city of things that make life interesting, you know? Like, I never know how this painting is gonna look like at the end, for the most part. <laughs> 